travel lovers. So we're bright eyed and bushy tailed this morning. It's about 7.30 and we're just waiting for our host to come and pick us up because we have an epic day planned for you guys. Today is more of a unique experience as we're going to the surrounding areas more inland so we're going to see loads of nature we're going to see mount kinabalu at the park and the mountain itself and we may even be feeding baby baby cows so that should be really exciting now i'm still waking up justina's definitely waking up she's standing behind the camera here with a coffee and we're going to have a full day today so it's going to be around seven hours of activities today's video is kindly sponsored by amazing borneo tours and if you like the look of this tour as always there will be a link in the description box below where you can book your own tour here in Sabah. Good morning there travel lovers I'm here as well with Misha I cannot wait for this day because um, we love nature so much and we love trekking and hiking and seeing all the different species um, just in the wilderness so I'm super excited I've got my trekking boots on just in case um, yeah you got your coffee Got my coffee, got my Snickers, that's like my morning snack. You got a Snickers? Yeah. I've only just noticed that you bought mm -hmm. that. All right, so you're ready, you're prepared, mm -hmm. and you're looking forward to the day. Yeah, so yeah. much. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. You can see it already, Justina. Yeah, just there in front of us. What is it? It's Tell everyone. Kinabalu. So this is just um, a pit stop where we're gonna take some pictures with the view of Mount Kinabalu, and you can buy some souvenirs here, some fruit. Just a quick pit stop. See guys behind us there is the tallest southeast asian mountain it's called mount kinabalu yeah and it's actually 4092 meters high mm -hmm. and we are so glad that we are not hiking that mountain because it looks so so yeah. steep and yeah. just incredibly high mm -hmm. like our guide actually has done it twice, twice. And we were like, wow, how have you had the, the strength, the strength to, do it. to do it? Yeah. He told us that his friends, some of them actually turned back and couldn't make it. Because of altitude sickness. But he was the strong one. Shall we ask him a few questions? So this is our tour, tour guide, Neil, and he said he's already climbed the mountain twice. Yes. yes. So how did you feel about it? Yeah, I was uh, having good time when good I was time, climbing, yeah. Yeah, and uh, it's quite challenging for me actually uh, when when I climbed the mountain on the first time it was a bit hard yeah and I almost gave up when I reached at kilometer four yeah but yeah. the guys uh, motivate me and why should you give up this is one in lifetime once once in a lifetime chance, opportunity right? yeah, yeah, yeah exactly opportunity. and then I keep on going going and going until I reached to the summit oh yeah. wow you're it, so it was, lucky it was it was satisfied yes yeah. Yeah. yeah because you're already above the clouds yeah and the view is quite nice so you'd recommend someone hiking the mountain even yes. though it's incredibly hard yeah? yes even it's quite hard yeah. but when you reach at the top that feeling, you, you, it's feeling worth it's quite it. amazing. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Wow. Well, maybe well, next guys. year we should try and do you should it. Should try come back next year. Yeah. And, yeah. And After. You can find me, and I will be your guy. Oh, yeah. that would be perfect. Yeah, yes. Third time for you then. Third time for me. <laughs> as long as you can carry all of our backpacks. <laughs> no worries. There will be a guy who will carry. The, oh uh, we call, really? We call Porter over here, so wow. he will carry your guides. Wow. Yeah. Oh, amazing. How many kilos would they be carrying on the way up? It depends. Um, five to six, seven bags. Wow. wow. That's a lot, guys. Yes. Wow, yeah. there we go. Heroes. So there we go. <laughs> Worth it, yeah. Cute. I wish we could buy all of this. Yeah. If we if we had our own home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't even have one and yeah. we don't have much space in our like backpack. This one also we call it Yeah, have to say it's with backpack. Yeah, it's tough, isn't it? Yeah. If, if you've been to tip of Borneo, yeah. you can yeah. see some of the local people will create the, this necklace out of beads. Oh really? So like this one in mm -hmm. one. One necklace of it takes about four to five hours to build it. Wow, okay. Oh, wow. So you need a very soft hand. Mm -hmm. So you need to have a string and just put it like one by one. 
and this is the pattern. Yeah. Wow, yeah. such patience. Jackfruit there. Might be, is that a jackfruit? This one we call the uh, wild durian wild? Or, oh. or local name, we call it the uh, durian blanda. It's, durian it's, blanda. Uh, it's, this, the taste is not exactly the same as durian. No. It's sweet and sour. Okay. okay. Yeah, pineapple please. One bag. One. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Uh, terima kasih. Do you want some? Yes, please. Do you want some? <laughs> mm. Oh, it's so bright today. It's incredibly bright, guys. Mm -hmm. And I know. Sorry people, for the lighting. People said, "Oh, I should get sunglasses," but I, I don't suit sunglasses. I look like an idiot, so I don't <laughs> wear them. So I'd rather do this instead. I look yeah. more of an idiot. Today is Deza Cow Farm. Mm -hmm. Now there's a great opportunity here to actually feed the cows and the goats mm -hmm. and there's uh, specific feeding times for that mm -hmm. so we were a bit worried that they're just being constantly fed but there are like two slots it's where you monitored, can feed them. It's monitored, yeah. Do you remember the times? Yeah, it's usually between 10 and 12 as the first morning slot and then 2 to 4 afternoon yeah. slot. So right now it's super busy, very crowded, everyone's trying to feed little yeah. baby goats and little baby calves yeah so yeah and actually today is a public holiday because it of is. king's birthday which we didn't know about actually so it's even busier than usual it isn't is. it because everyone's enjoying the public holiday everyone's off and it's monday and yeah it's a very nice day very beautiful weather so yeah, yeah. we must say actually driving up towards this cow farm and just out of the city mm -hmm. we feel like we're in the cameron highlands again yeah because like the air is much cooler mm -hmm. um just the mountain views, the roads, the traffic is very, very similar to Cameron Highlands. And actually people say that this is like mini New Zealand, so mini oh, New yeah, Zealand of do. Sabah. <laughs> You do, yeah. and do you know what? It actually does feel like that, and also like UK. So it feels like the Lake District or the Peak District. Oh, all the national parks. Yeah, yeah. it feels very, very different mm -hmm. out here. Maybe just get one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, just um, one grass. <laughs> one grass. I hope you guys caught that on camera. Yeah, just one, one grass, grass, please. <laughs> like ordering at a bar. What do you call it then? No, you're right to say yeah. it, but it's just so strange. Change. The change, thank you. All right, so. Go. Let's go and feed some goats. Goats? Oh, oh, you got it. <laughs> She's so happy. I know. She's ordering more. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're hungry. <laughs> oh. Oh, you want some for you? Oh, oh. <laughs> they're very them. hungry. Look yeah. at them going for it. You're so hungry. Would they bite me? Uh, I don't think so. You're okay. You're okay. You're a good girl. <laughs> oh, the paws oh. out. Kitchen. <laughs> oh, oh. Hungry. hungry, so hungry. So right now we're at Mount Kinabalu National Park. First of all, we're gonna grab some food, and then we'll see what else we're gonna do. This is uh, Mount Kinabalu National Park. Uh -huh. And after lunch, we're gonna. And after lunch, we're gonna go for the botanical uh, garden. <laughs> which is about only five minutes from here. Okay, great. Okay, lovely. Mm -hmm. So let's go eat, ba. <laughs> Some rice, fried kwai tau, beef, chicken. Some fish here, lamb masala, chicken curry, Japanese bean curd, and some veggies. Nice. I'm not surprised that you got some chow koi tao. Oh, absolutely. It has to be done. <laughs> the curry looks good. Yeah. Mm. I did. They're stuffed, guys. 
and I've just grabbed an English cup of tea with milk and sugar. Wow. My favorite. That's been a long time coming. It is, because I normally <laughs> get tea but without milk or without sugar, but I love just like one teaspoon of sugar. It's like the best. You're so British. I am, I am. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah, cheers. How, <laughs> cheers, cheers. <laughs> How was your buffet experience? Oh my gosh, such a good food. Lots of like fresh noodles and rice and vegetables. And like the chicken is so tender. One of the best buffets I've ever had actually. Yeah, she, was, she was absolutely loving I it. Was, I was, was going best. for more and more. I had like two huge plates. It was really nice. And the pastries. Yeah, yeah we had um, like a pastry with like uh, kaya jam mm -hmm. inside and one with red beans. There's one. Left. Why left is that off? left? I know. I'm gonna eat that. I'm Looks gonna like eat a that. nipple. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I think I had five variations of curry. Mm. Don't even know which curry I was eating when I was eating it, but I had five different types. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. So this, good, guys. This is actually my second cup of tea, actually. Mine too. I'm loving it. I think I'm gonna have a nap next for the next 10 minutes. But next we're going to a, uh, what did you say, a botanical garden? Botanical garden, which is only about five minutes away here from this lunch yeah. area. Yeah, so we're going to do that next. I think it stopped raining, uh, although honestly guys, we are loving this cooler weather. Mm -hmm. It's so nice and refreshing. Mm -hmm. Like we're just in a t-shirt, but it's just perfect. Like no beads of sweat, nothing. No, it's so no. nice right now. Yeah, so, we're just chilling, chatting. We met yes. this lovely German girl. Yes. Such a nice time. Yeah, really yeah. nice. So um, I suppose we'll catch up with you at the Botanical Garden after I drink this cup of tea. Right, so uh, once again, very good afternoon to everyone. Mm -hmm. right, so right now we're at the uh, Botanical Garden over here. Right, so right now we are over here. So this is the trail inside the garden. It's going to take about less than 150 meters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so they're just explainable. Yes. Right? Just found out guys that if you see a tree in a forest or a jungle that has a white spot, it means that the air is clean in the area, which I would think is the opposite. But this means that the air around here is really clean. So it's an indicator of a good jungle air quality. Like a horror film, isn't mm -hmm. it? So mystical. You never know what's gonna come out of it. I know, right? <laughs> What kind of creature? The crooked man. Enjoying your time here? Yes, I am. It's so nice. Why are you cool. talking like this? I don't know. I'm scared. Just in case any creature will come on and eat me. <laughs> <laughs> it's become so misty in here, hasn't yeah. it? You can barely see the path ahead. Yeah. Can you actually see it on the camera? Yeah, it looks really good. It looks really good. Yeah. But like every second that goes by, it's getting more and more misty. It's really yeah. bizarre. Yeah. Like someone's popped the kettle on. Uh, raining season, yeah. you can cover by mist. Mm -hmm. Really? It's like normal weather, sometimes it can be like very cool. Yeah. Ah, it's cool. I like it. I like yeah, the atmosphere. I seen that before. No. 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 I mean, it's so misty. It's like you're, it's like you're going into a yeah. swamp, swamp area. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. in a horror movie. Yeah. Like in a horror Isn't movie, it? that's yeah. right. Yeah. Like if you're in a horror movie, something bad will happen. Exactly, something will come yes. out. <laughs> it's so cool though. Yeah, really cool. I love it. What was that noise? You guys can see the grudge mm -hmm. in the background please let us know because we will run for our lives this place is so mystical as Misha said like yeah we we're trying to think of a word and I was like mystical yeah I think it captures it perfectly don't know if you can see it on the camera but I think you can whoa yeah that's a better shot isn't it yes it's amazing so cool we I've never, never been in this kind of environment before have you Never. No, no. No, especially when we arrived and it wasn't like this at all. I mm. mean, you would have seen the earlier shots. It's just like... The sun was coming like out, that. wasn't it? Yeah. 
and now it's just turned into this crazy mess. So how was it ladies? Is it nice? Yes? Yeah, this is our German friend that we met today. <laughs> Tell your name. Hi, I'm Andrina from Germany. Yay! <laughs> Cute. I think we're heading back now though. Right, so that's it for today then, yeah? I mean, there's nothing else that we can actually see with our own eyes. No. Like, it's physically impossible. Right yeah. Now. So I think we're driving back two hours. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's yeah. going to be a long journey home. Yeah. This is the heaviest rainfall we've seen in seven months. But we're okay, we're underneath here and we're just waiting for our wild boar to be cooked. It's gonna take about 10 minutes. Now, this isn't the mist still, this is actually the smoke. It's actually going into my eyes, like I need glasses, but I'm hoping that the smoky flavor just tastes so good and I cannot wait to try it. Do you know how this boar is actually being killed? Okay, so uh, this boar over here, was taken in Sindakan, which is on the east side. Yeah. So where the hunters, they hunt this meat in the forest. Wow. Right? Uh, not only in Sindakan, also in Mahatatu. Mm -hmm. And then actually they are the supplier and then they are the buyer. Oh, so okay. when they buy the meat over here and then they will sell okay. to us. So the price will be a little bit much up. Yeah. Still uh, affordable. Actually, okay. What do you call this thing in your language? So in local name we call it Sinalao Bakas. Say that again. Sinalao. Sinalao? Bakas. Bakas. Sinalao Bakas. Wow. So Sinalao means um, smoky. Yeah. Bakas means pork. Smoky oh, okay. pork. Oh, smoky oh, pork. pork. Oh, there it is there. Yeah. Sinalao Bakas. Yeah. Never seen crackling yeah. so big. Like, it looks so good. Okay. I would actually eat all of that fat. I'm disgusting, aren't I? Wow. Oh yeah. <laughs> Neil has got it. Yeah. yeah. Are we gonna try it here? Right, yeah. Here. This seems they are vegetarian. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh sorry, sorry. Okay. Oh that looks incredible. Uh, you must dip in the chili sauce. Yeah. Right. So chili and did you say chili duck? Chili and a duck soy sauce. Duck, duck soy, soy sauce. sauce. Oh. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Describe the Smoky. flavors. Smoky. Yeah, it's healthy. <laughs> exactly what you'd expect. It's a little bit spicy, but only because of that chili sauce. Okay. Chili sauce yeah. Okay. Is it fatty? No, no not really. No. I yeah, think they cut the fat one. off. Yeah. Oh, there is the yeah, fatty one. Oh, that's for me. That's you for me. You usually like the fatty. Okay. Yeah. Like you grab this one. Okay. Misha's turn. It may look like I'm crying, but it's because of the smoke or because it's just that good. Yeah. Mm. Give me 10 out of 10. Mm. Oh, sorry, it's so smoky. Right, close your eyes and then talk. 10 out of 10? 10 out of 10. <laughs> it's very good. It reminds me of a roast dinner when you have like roast pork on a Sunday. Yeah, it's yeah. very good. We were discussing saying it's the best meat we've had since we've been in Asia because you don't often get smoked food. Yeah. So this is like one of a kind here. So that explains why it's so busy. The whole room full of people just eating this inside. Yeah. And there's loads of people queuing here as well. So yeah. it's really popular. And I actually heard about this maybe last week from someone that we spoke to and uh, 
Yeah, you were right. Whoever I spoke to last week, you were totally right. It was way worth coming here. This is it, guys. This was our last stop, and now we're heading back to Central KK. And I guess we're gonna catch you there. And yeah. uh, we'll tell you how we feel about it today. Okay, guys, so this is it. This is the end of the day. We're just back to the hotel room, nice and cozy. Nice and cozy. It started raining just after we finished with the tour, so mm. I think I wouldn't have this day any other way. Like, it was perfect. Like, such such a nice way to escape from the KK city center, isn't it? Yeah, it's a fantastic yeah. opportunity to do that. Mm -hmm. And it gave us just a glimpse of Mount Kinabalu. And that's all we're gonna get from this time, this trip, because mm -hmm. there's no way we, in our current situation, <laughs> would be able to climb that. So we're super lucky to have seen it mm -hmm. with our own two eyes. Uh, it yeah. was really cute, feeding the cows and, and the goats. goats. Yeah, they were like so all excited. Yeah, yeah, and the boar was so good. Really, like it was the best meat I've had wow. since I've left maybe Canada mm. because it was the closest thing to a barbecue that I've had. Mm. So the park that we went to, Killabaloo Park, which is where the botanical garden is, there's actually loads of things to do there. That was literally like one activity out of probably ten. Yeah, um, I know you can do a canopy walk there. I know there's hot springs nearby. There's a lot to do. So. So make sure to check out all of Amazing Borneo mm -hmm. Tours, not just the one we did today, mm -hmm. but they have a lot of tours on offer. Mm -hmm. And again, we'll put the link down in the description box just so you can check mm -hmm. out all of the tours which you may fancy doing because this may be for you, this may not be for you. Um, there's loads of options, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. As always, we appreciate every single one of you. Give this video a huge thumbs up, share with your friends, and in the comment section below let us know if you've done any tours whilst in Saba and if you did what was your favorite one so see you on the next adventure and as always cheers, cheers to freedom, freedom. Woo!